I need some lighting and I don't know whether you guys can hear me talking with all this sound but hope so I just want to share um, my 2018 um, it wasn't that pretty it wasn't that beautiful I I must say that I handled 2018 pretty well and I'm proud of myself for that um, there's a lot of things that happen so I, I, I feel like I want to share what happens in my 2018 so yeah I think I'm gonna record the video here it's about the a bit snap and the funny dear mall so I have I have the lights that I want so Yep. 2018 was not a pretty year for me. Like, I lost many things um, to 2018. Um, mostly regarding um, relationships, not only like a romance a relationship, but also a friendship and. It happened so fast, 2018 took them away from me in a very fast way that I couldn't even like, like, had the chance to, to, you know, make things right. And why is it uh, my loss is affected me so much? Because the person that I lost is very important to me. She was very important to me. And among all the people that, that, that is in my life, I lost her and it's very sad and we try to make things right but I guess we cannot I guess just because God said that okay your friendship ends here this is the best for you guys same goes to uh, my what do you call that a romantic relationship like a, a relationship with a guy which I thought oh like he's the one like he's the one that I'm gonna marry with and I'm graduating next year and I had plans but plans are just plans if God says that I won't allow you to have it then I won't have it but it's okay really it's okay for me because I strongly believe that God want something good for me he wants to give me something even better it's not that I'm saying that like those people that were in my life they they were bad or anything it's just that God wants to give me something even better you know sometimes when you feel like oh your life is good you figure out everything and um, you know what you be like my life is good and suddenly something happens and it's like it took away everything everything that you thought that that was perfect i feel like god is telling me like he's trying to say that oh you think you have a good life huh that like, you think everything is perfect and everything like you know what i have something even better for you i have something even better for you like i want to give you more you think this is good do you think you think what you have now is perfect like girl i have something even better for you just we so he took he took away the things that i thought was perfect and then i believe that he's go, he gonna give me something better after this even though i lost many things in 2018 but i do gain something in 2018 which is mostly strength um, I become more mature I handled things pretty well like if I look back um, in 2013 almost shitty year like almost the same shitty year for me but the way I handled it was very immature was very childish like for those who didn't know I suffered depression in 2013 not even my family know about this I had suicidal thoughts in 2013 it's all because like I don't know how to handle stuff and I was inexperienced I was immature I I don't know how to 
deal with people uh, I don't know how to deal with problems I follow my heart too much and because of that I put myself in a very low position I had no confidence I I was blaming myself for th things that was very stupid and like it was very bad very bad for me and in 2018 almost the same thing happened but I get over it very easy like I handle it very good I, I I must say that I'm very proud of myself like I handle my problems in a very good way um, shitty things happen but I still feel confidence I still feel that I'm worth for something uh, yeah that's a keyword okay so now I'm not saying that if anything happens in 2019 I'll be like oh yeah problems happen like I can handle it very well I won't cry over it no I won't be like that clearly I will be sad if something bad happens clearly but I won't be weeping it all day all weeks all months all year like how I did in 2013 and that was like 2013 was like very bad I and I'm I'm so thankful that I have friends because it happens it started in in when I was in Moscow away from my family so I'm so thankful um, for my friends that were with me at that time that making sure that I didn't do any stupid stuff and always be there for me so um, like how I see it just now like even though after this I have problems I won't be like like you know what like uh, everything's gonna be good I won't cry over it no like I'm a cry baby I will cry over stuff but um, I'm pretty sure I can handle it very well like I could overcome my sadness and be more professional about it so my conclusion is that um, the reason why I'm making this video is mainly for me maybe in the future when I look back to this video I'll be like wow I was I was good back then and I hope that maybe in the future I will be even better or if whenever I feel sad I feel down that I'm starting to doubt myself and when I look back to this video I'll be like you know what you were you were in that position before like you know how to handle stuff you'll be okay and I know I'm gonna be okay um, I'm not saying that my life is good now um, it, it isn't it's not like what I want it to be but I'm still waiting uh, the the happiness that God promised to give me so that's that and I hope uh, somehow I kind of inspire any of you and just say that good stuff will happen just don't worry about it don't cry over it like just don't worry about it okay <laughs> so that's all from me um bye bye